Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to look at the greenhouse effect which is sometimes known as global warming or climate change. So we're going to look at the greenhouse effects. It can also be called like the greenhouse gas effect and basically what it means is by the greenhouse effect it means it refers to like the, the warming of the earth's atmosphere. And because the atmosphere is getting warmer it's causing the earth to heat up and also become warmer. So, as you can see, this is um, the greenhouse effect, okay? And the greenhouse effect is natural, and it's really, really good for our Earth, because if we didn't have the natural greenhouse effect, well then, we, our Earth would be, would be considerably colder, and we would probably not be able to sustain life on Earth, okay? So what actually happens? Well, what happens is, the sun's rays from the sun, 50% of the sun's rays actually make it to the to the earth. Okay, so 50% of the, of the rays actually make it to the earth. The other 25% make it to the earth but are reflected and they stay in the atmosphere. So to, so 25% are actually ref reflected away by the by earth and and they stay in the atmosphere or maybe go back out into outer space. And then 25% are reflected from the atmosphere and straight into outer space. So, now, what is actually happening is, so as the rays come down, and because we're burning more fossil fuels such as um, coal, oil uh, and gas, this is releasing carbon dioxide from the earth into our atmosphere. And what it's actually doing is, it's creating like uh, a layer. Okay, so let me just... It's creating like a layer around our atmosphere. And this layer around our atmosphere is causing heat. It's, our rays are still coming into the atmosphere and still hitting the, the earth. But what's happening is when these rays, the 25%, go back out of the atmosphere and back into outer space, they're actually getting trapped in the atmosphere. And as a result, their whole atmosphere is getting warmer. And because of this, this is then causing, because our atmosphere is warmer, it's then causing our earth to heat up and to get warmer. And this is what we call the greenhouse effect, or what's kind of known now as is the global warming, or even most more recent terms, it's known as climate change. It's causing climate to change on the earth. So what we're going to look at now is some of the consequences of global warming. So because the earth is getting warmer, what are some of the consequences that's going to take place? Well, the first one is the change in sea levels. So change in sea levels. Okay, and what's actually happened is polar ice caps are actually melting, and this, um, and therefore they're causing then the sea levels to increase. What it's expected that the sea levels will increase by 1.5 meters between now and 2050. If this happens, this will cause this will cause mass flooding in many countries. It will cause uh, many coastal areas to be uh, to be completely flooded. It will cause a lot of agricultural land to be flooded, and which will lead to lots of crops dying and animals dying. And it will lead to some places in the world being completely submerged. The second uh, consequence of global warming is change. So changes to climate. As a result of, of the earth heating up, some areas will become much drier. And so more areas will turn into desert, it will get a lot more desertification. And um, while other areas and other parts of the world will become much wetter, which will lead to huge problems, particularly for farmers who are using the land for agriculture. The third consequence of global warming is an increase in tropical storms. It's an increase in tropical storms and hurricanes. So because the earth is heating up, waters are going to be warmer. And that and hurricanes and tropical storms need to have warm water in, for, in order for them to start. And 
if the water is now warmer because of the the earth is now is the earth is warmer, this will lead to a lot more tropical storms and hurricanes, which could cause uh, huge damage, such as like the hurricanes that happened in two thousand five with Hurricane Katrina, and the most recent one in America, uh, Hurricane Sandy. The fourth consequence that I'm going to do um, that will lead to because of, as a consequence of global warming will be uh, that some animals. Some plant, some plants and animals. Will die. Okay, so many plants and animals will die, or some plants and animals may have to migrate to a different climate because the climate that they now live in might not suit their habitat. An example of an animal that may become extinct would be like the the white polar bear. So the white polar bear uh, needs ice in order for them to survive because they've got a really really strong uh, nose and face so in order to catch their prey they have to break through the ice to catch like the fish or a seal or whatever they might they might be uh, they might be they might be trying to catch and because the ice is starting to melt this is leaving them with less ice and then they now have to swim and because they're so slow they can't catch any of their prey so now we've looked at just some of the consequences of uh, global warming and I've explained to you the greenhouse effect, and I've explained to you why it's good, and also why it's bad, and what they, when, they, when we actually talk about this global warming, how it actually is happening. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned uh, a lot from it. If you did, can you please leave me some feedback? I'd really appreciate it. I love when I get some feedback. If you, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll answer them. And can you please subscribe to the YouTube channel? Thanks, guys.